Miss Kumala, you. You further testified that you were called to make a facial image of uh, the second intruder. I just have one question regarding that portion of evidence. You remember that? Pagunya Futokshila Guguti Wabiz Wage Ugutu Zoldegal and Namuzo Caesar. Yes, that's true. And you testified that the diagram that you completed had already been completed by other witnesses. That's true. <coughs> So in other words, the description that was given into this statement of Colonel Steenkamp did not come from you for the description of the suspect. Minawang Buzu Guti Gulo second sub suspect Igupeng Eta and Igupim Slamping Funuguti and the Ama adjustment con. Uh what uh can uh what Stenkam asked me was what is it with regards to the second suspect that uh I would like her to add or that I would like to add or where I would like her to make adjustments. And then Gampendu Langa Kumbula Konut and Sasnoma Ga 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 shama eyelash na ama ama eyebrows na eh but ngamjela futhi ukuthi uyena ngempela and uh, i responded i can't remember whether i said it's the eyebrows uh but i confirmed with the uh, steel camp that it was indeed him but in short my question is that whatever description there was given in that diagram you only assisted on the information which had already been given information Yes, I added. Okay. And in the same statement of uh, Steen Camp, I, I'll just read the paragraph which refers to you in this statement. statement. The statement was signed, my lord, on the 31st of October 2014 in Pretoria. Warrant Officer Stiengam. You see that? Okay. Then go to page three, where in it says the second witness was Kelly. Kelly's sister, Zandile Kumal. You see that paragraph? Page three. three. Okay. It's page four. Page four. Mm, page four. Can I read my lot for, for the record? Yes. The second witness was Kelly's sister, Zandile Kumal. She told a similar version and mm. gave a similar profile and facial description of <laughs> suspect A. The only feature she adds was the eyebrows. She saw the eyebrows when suspect A lost his headgear during the scaffold, during the scaffolding with the deceased. She could not describe the second suspect. Lanage upala ati ustian kam osbili ufagaz wabuta bukeli uzandile kumalo wa shoge okfanayo. Uh, my lag in the profile, can you foot again? I'm a description of Buso. I kill suspect A. Upelage uh, or Geza, Kawama eyebrows. Wawa Bonage won a kill suspect A. Muma is a Segua is Coco Sake, Gati, Ayelusan and I umufi. Agazange, no Magam Kazanage, no Magazanga um Kaza, always be the um soda. Eng Funugushola Puguti. Wang Buzanjuti, Lago suspect B, Imu Igupo of Nagutin Gushint, that mina, Logan Gubonai, Uyen in bed. What I know is that she asked me, with regards to suspect B, what is it that we would like 
me to change and then i just said uh, it is indeed him i would be describe not that i was unable to describe him no so it means she is not correct what she read what she wrote there Angazi kuthi eMail ihlanganiswa lento ihlanganiswa kanjani angiyoni professional ya le department but eh uh, angazi I don't know when this now is uh, uh, then uh, brought up or brought together how do they make it I am not a professional in this department and but it's not what you said angizwe lokho ngakusho mina ukuthi ngiyambona uyena upheleli hayi ukuthi angikwazi kumdescribe what i said was that i'm able to see that it's him he's complete not that i'm unable to describe him okay but my question is what is written there it's not what you said so okubhalwe la lokha gbhalile la igcineni lokho asibona owakusho wena no okay let's move on my lord may i just want to refer the witness to the identification parade that uh, was conducted at GP yes i have asked that it be uploaded also as well i've given the stage my copy as well I know you have been taken through this uh, form. Yes, the GBCB division again now got the form Lena of the identification parade that you attended at uh, GP police station. Yeah, the ID get over your your name at GP police station on the 29th of October 2014. The 29th of October 2014. But I just want to take you through few issues. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. In this in this document, if I can just summarize it from the evidence that we have given in this court about the occurrence and the role played by you that you did not point anyone out but you you said he was similar eh umanje kafishana nje ngale document lena noma owakwenza okwenzeka la ukuthi akunamuntu owamkhomba kodwa wathi nje kukhona ukufana nokuthize yes I hear. That was the first mistaken identity that you gave when the facts were still fresh in your mind immediately after the incident on the 29th of October 2014. Uh, okay. A multi mistaken identity ushuktini ngoba minangati kuna ma similarities ang shongu to yen. What do you mean when you say mistaken identity? Because I never said that that person was indeed the person. I said that there were similarities. This this document is recorded for the purpose by the officer who is conducting parade, and he signed and confirmed that this document is correct. He read. He wrote that you indicated, in other words, you pointed out someone. I understand the, what we have said here in court, but taking it from the form as is, you indicated someone. Uh, right. uh, Ngwela 
I said there were similarities. Even on my way out, I knew very well that that person was not amongst those that were there. But at the end of the day, according to this form, this person was identified wrong. Yeah, but this witness is trying to explain. She contests the authenticity and veracity of that form, in other form. words. So this gentleman who wrote that, like she suggests, intelligently, she must be called. Thank you, my lord. Can I refer the witness to the photo album of the same ID parent? Yes. I've requested also it so that we can look at that person whom you pointed out during that ID parade as the second suspect. The one, the one holding number two. The one holding number two. Mr. Sibanda, can you show it there on the screen? You've got the photo here. I don't have it. Oh, sorry. Do you see the height of the person, the number two of the person who was pointed out at, uh, who is being referred to as the person pointed out during the ID parade? We are born at the back of the month of the number two, the petal number two. When you say the height, uh, now in a photo, how are you able to see a person's height? Okay. The first one in that photo is shorter. I'm talking about the height of all those people who are there. Mm -hmm. Only referring to the heads. Yeah, the height, height of a person. I can't really tell. If it's like that, I can't really tell. I can't see. The first one is shorter. The second one is shorter than the first one. The third one is shorter than the second. The fourth one is shorter than the third one. Oh, because I know. Can you see that? Uh, is that what you're saying? Because I thought you wanted me to know how tall he is. OK. Now, you see the, the height for the second one? Yes. Yes. That is short. Mm -hmm. And the one we have identified as the second suspect, he was tall. Well, as the first suspect, Mangim identifier, and my facial contours is Ibalalake, and Nyama El Tobezelayo, Gangim Landoza as the first one. When I called this particular person to come uh, closer, I was uh, identifying this person as the first suspect. With regards to the facial contours, uh, his dark, shiny skin. I am number two. Not number two. Oh, so in this in this uh, in this ID parade, you you were referring to suspect number one. Number one. Thank you, Mila. I have no further questions to that. Can I ask that uh, video clip to be pretty on what you said there to say? The deceased mother went to get Umuti was street. In Tai Shogun Netflix. That is, sorry. Nami Ben Kota Yona in Tai Shogun Netflix. It's what she said on Netflix. I was also quoting that which she said on Netflix. Okay. And initially you said the person who should be suspected is the girlfriend and the wife. Based on what I was saying that uh, uh, taking into account whatever the particular person's uh, situation or position is, whether the person would have been married or not. And from the evidence of the SMSs that was submitted before this court, from those messages, it is Ms. Kelly Kumalo who wanted to get rid of the deceased. 
umage upegage sorry as, as a court, please i don't think that is correct <laughs> I, I think it's more about the ending of the relationship yeah. and, and not getting get the rid of this means kill murder she was she wanted to end the relationship because she found herself in an untenable situation in that there was no certainty about the relationship she was having with uh, the deceased because the deceased was also having his wife yes. and then there's talk about lobola yes. as opposed to take the kelly as the second wife i don't know yes the, as, as the court business my lord as as is as the court is uh, correcting the record the person who had a sour relationship according to this exhibit <coughs> It was Miss Kelly Kumaro and the deceased. Yes. They were involved in a lifetime. Like the evidence says, Senzo's wife, Umandisa, she was in Jobek on the day Senzo was allegedly murdered. And yet, but Kelly was also there. So they were, the women, Baga Senzo, they were all gravitating in the same pool as he put it. Can I proceed, my lord? Hello. Can I proceed, my lord? Yeah. Thank you. And Miss Mandisa, Mkise, we do not have any records of the cell phone which shows that he didn't want the relationship mm -hmm. he had with the deceased. Uh, other than the exhibit O one. Asinabu Farazi, Obushoyoge, Ugoti, Umis Mandi, Sam Kize. God, please, my lord. How will the witness know that she's not the investigating officer? Well, as I recall the evidence, who's. What do you call this? Hair hair braids. The hair pieces. Yeah, the hair pieces. Who, who pulled whose hair pieces? You remember? Uh -huh. There was that evidence. Yes, my lord. I listened, Mina Court. Yes, my lord. Umandi sa umandi sa watonza inuele za za keli Yes, I remember that. Umandi sa pulled a head is care at the hospital. Hmm. Yes, but but my question has not been answered. No, you said there was no acrimony in other words between Umandi sa and uh, yes. Kelly. Yes. And yet we know. I listened to evidence which says the tuft of hair was winched out of Kelly's head by Umandi. And uh, my lord, to add to that. A uh, corner is Tombela, as corner, mm. I think a a a a Tombeni a compile with my Emin Ukelwa Tweli to Mobawa Vala corner, a Uguti in Relese Zugi Lapo and Agaga Tweli Scats of Utamba Ibungis. And my lord, just to add on to that, amongst the photos, I say I saw a photo of Kelly uh, where she is heading a wearing a head gear or a uh, duke, and uh, there she was still covering her head because uh, she hadn't yet. Uh, uh, had time to go and fix that. Can I proceed, my lord? Yes, yes. Thank you, my lord. Ms. Kumalo, I just want to get clarity on that part when you said most of, half of the time, they were wearing masks. Which stage were you referring to? Were you referring to the time when the incident took place or at the time when they, were, they appeared in court? It was during their court appearance, not, I don't know whether it was for the first, the second or the third appearance but when I saw them, they were just covered. Okay. At the time of the incident, is there any of the intruder who was wearing mask or paraclub? No, if, as I've already explained, the one was wearing a hat and the other a hoodie. Thank you, Ms. Kumalo. I will just put to you the accused version, accused number five version, is that he denies the allegations against him. Put against him, he was never there during the robbery or when the incident took place. Uh, 
futhike wayengekho lapha yana ngalele yalanga Do you have any comment Njabe sengichazile ukuthi mina ngabona abantu ababili abangena endlini ukuthi yena uthinteka kanjani lokho sesingabeka emaphoyiseni ukuthi asichazile kabanzi based on the evidence Uh as I've already said that I saw two people on the day that entered the house uh, as to how he is involved that we can leave to the police to explain in detail Thank you my lord I have no further questions Thank you Any re-examination Mr Baloy